If you played Assassin's Creed Valhalla even a little bit, you're gonna wanna watch this video to the end. This is part four of everything wrong with this game. If you haven't seen parts one, two, and three, go check those out, but this video is gonna be a little bit different because I've kinda changed my mind on something. So in a previous video, I complained about Odin and Asgard and that whole aspect of this game not being truly explained in the end. I was waiting for like this big finale where it explains what the heck is going on with Odin like in your mind and seeing these visions and the Asgard missions and all of that. And it wasn't really there. It didn't put it in black and white for you like the previous games always do. So of course I went to YouTube and I looked up an explanation of what the heck happened at the end. And if you haven't, if you've finished the game and you haven't seen this video, I would watch it because there's probably things that you didn't even understand about the end of this game. And the Brothers Code here made a beautiful video explaining it. So having watched that video, honestly, the connection of Odin and Asgard and Loki and all of this stuff was made so much more clear in my mind and I actually could understand the direction that they're trying to go with the Creed and the Isu and Loki and Odin and all this stuff, it made way more sense. But for the gamer to truly understand every aspect of this story and why Odin is in Eivor's mind and Loki and all this stuff and the Asgard missions, you can't just complete the main story. You can't just complete the Asgard stories. You can't just complete all the kingdom stories. You literally have to go do like those weird side missions and side trials and weird things. Basically all the extra content. You have to go and finish all of that content to then reveal more information about what the frick was going on with all of this. So I don't appreciate as an old hardcore Assassin's Creed fan having to 100% a game to truly understand the main story of the game. Before I saw that YouTube video, I had more questions than I had in the beginning when I started the game. Just like the old Assassin's Creed games, they should have answered all of your questions, except for the cliffhangers that they mean to throw in there, by the end of the game. And something to note, the fact that there are multiple campaigns within this game, I didn't know when I was truly done. I didn't even know that there was an epilogue in this game that I should finish until I saw a YouTube video about it. I've even been getting comments in my TikTok saying, oh, you didn't finish the game right. How do I not finish a game right? The campaign should be just that, the campaign, where everything they want to tell you in this story, everything you need to know is within that. Every other side mission, side quest should be side information that's just bonus. So anyways, I wanted to make that clear that I actually think that the story with Eivor and Odin and Loki is really cool. I just wish they would have put that in the main campaign without having to 100% complete the game. I really hope that in the future they take note of that and they make the campaign the campaign. 